Designing for multiple devices that have different sizes and resolutions can be a real challenge. Thankfully, in InDesign, we have something called Liquid Layout that makes it very, very easy for you to design multiple layouts with the same content. Let me show you how it works. Let's go here to the third page of this document to start with something rather simple. Let's open the Liquid Layout panel, and we can see that right now we cannot really select anything inside of the panel. That's because to work with Liquid Layouts, we need to use the Page Tool. So let's go take the Page Tool over here in my, in my Tools and select the page we want to work with. Then, under the Liquid Page Rules, we see that there are a, a series of page rules that we can apply to that specific page. We can use the Scale, the Recenter, we can use Object-Based Page Rules, and Guide-Based. Let's look at the first two. If we use scale, basically what happens is that the content of the page simply gets scaled to the new size that you decide to apply to the page. So again, with the page tool selected, I have these little handles that I can use on my document. And basically what this allows me to do is to very quickly see how the contents of the page actually react to the different sizes that I wish to apply to the page. And as you can see, if I use the scale uh, liquid page rule, well, the content simply scales inside of the size that I tell InDesign. Let's look at the second one, the recenter. And that's another way of thinking about the content, because basically what InDesign does here is as the page size changes, all that happens to the uh, to the content is that it actually gets recentered inside of the page. Basically, this can be very useful if you're working on a smaller layout and rapidly want to create a layout for a larger uh, tablet or a larger device, or for a larger print page, for example. So these two page rules are the most simple: scale and recenter. Let's look at the guide-based liquid page rule now. Basically, how this works is it uses information from guides that you put on the page to decide what can scale and what cannot. So simply here again, with the page tool selected, you would pull out a guide and place it here over those two elements, for example. And you can see that the, um, the guide itself is a little dashed line that helps you understand that this is actually a ruler for a guide-based page rule. Let's pull out another one to make sure that these two objects are taken as well and check out what happens to the page now. Now, when I make the page smaller, we see that all of the elements actually scale proportionally uh, within that space. You will also note another very interesting thing here, is that here we have one column of text. But as I make the page wider, check out what happens to that text. I'm going to pull it out, and now we have two columns. We have now three columns. How is that even possible? Well, let's go back here to my selection tool, select the text frame, and I'm going to control click on it and check out the text frame options. And we will see that here we now have the possibility to choose flexible width for any columns. So we can give it a maximum width and a width to start with. And whenever that uh, column width um, uh, expands, well, InDesign will automatically add other columns so that it becomes easier for your customers to read. So let's check that again. Let's cancel out of here and use the Page tool and start dragging the page a little bit wider. And you see, as soon as the column becomes uh, wider than these 316 pixels, well, InDesign automatically adds other columns. Very, very useful for creating alternate layouts and keeping the readability inside of the document. Let's check out the last liquid page rule, which is the object-based page rule. Let's go to the cover to do that. All right. So basically what I have here is a few elements. I have a background image and a logo and some text here that was imported from Adobe Illustrator. Well, right now, as I resize the page, you see that nothing actually happens. None of these objects will actually resize to new resolutions or, um, or sizes. To actually work with these objects, we're going to use the liquid layouts and 
turn the object-based liquid page rule on. And at that point, what I can do is select specific objects here on my, uh, on my layout, and we see that we have a few icons that appear around the selection. The first ones we notice are the darker dots here. And basically what these are, these are a signal to show me that now the object is pinned to the right of the page in that case, and to the top of the page. And it is not pinned to the left, and not pinned to the bottom of the page. Basically what we've done here is to actually tell InDesign to pin that object on the side of the page. Now, as we scale the page, we also see that we have a problem with the background image, which does not scale. So selecting that background image, we see that it is actually pinned on all sides of the page. But what we're going to ask InDesign to do is to actually auto-fit the content. So as soon as we click on auto-fit, you will see now that as the page resizes, the image will also resize in it. One last thing we need to pin here is actually the writing down here. And automatically it has been pinned at the bottom and to the left, but of course I can change that. Another interesting thing that we can see here is that we have little padlocks here that signify that this object has, um, uh, does not rescale as the, the, the page size changes. But if I click on it, you see that now we have this little wavy kind of icon that signifies that I will allow the object to actually resize horizontally. Let's check it out. See how the image frame actually resizes horizontally. And if I now click again and put the padlock back on, and do the exact same thing, we see that the image frame does not resize. So basically, by using Liquid Layout uh, in InDesign CS6, it makes it much, much easier for you to repurpose your content for tablet devices, but also print documents. Imagine you have a series of ads you have to do that ha all have different sizes because the magazines are different sizes, or the magazines require you to create various sizes of the same ad. Well, with Liquid Layout, you can create one InDesign document and then create alternate layouts within a same InDesign document repurposing the exact same content. So InDesign CS6 makes it much, much easier for you to create multiple versions of the exact same content.